Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this origami desk storage holder. And it actually can hold a lot of stuff. You'll be surprised how much this could actually hold. You can put pencils, pens, glue sticks, random objects that you have no other place to put them. They all fit in here and when you take all the objects out, it basically folds up into this little square so that you can put it away somewhere quite easily and then take it out whenever you want storage. But the first thing you'll need is a piece of paper. I'm actually using construction paper because I didn't have any regular colored printing paper. And then you wanna divide it into three equal sections. Um, I just went ahead and folded it this way because it's faster. Um, but you can use a ruler to go and make sure that you measure three equal sections. Once you have your three sections, you then want to fold it in half. And so now you should have three squares. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold down the middle square and then you're just going to fold over the other square making a point that ends at the lower corner of the middle square so make sure you hold down the middle square when you fold the other square over it and you're going to do that on the other side as well so before you actually start folding it, you might want to like re-crease it so it'll make it easier to work with. And then you're going to hold that center square down and then fold the other square over, making a point in the lower corner of the center square. And you should have something that looks like this. Next, you're going to fold over that pointy side you're going to tuck it inwards and there's actually a space right there and you're just going to tuck it into that space fold it over and you should have something that looks like this next you're going to fold that top part downwards towards the middle And I'm having a little trouble here because it is construction paper. It should be a lot easier for you if you use regular paper. Then you want to fold the sides inward and recrease them. Okay, now we're going to attach it. Basically, you created this little envelope and so you're going to slip the lip of one side into the envelope. So it fits exactly like that and you're pretty much done. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial and I will see you tomorrow. Bye everyone.